Okay, now, a little bit of play for the followers. On any tuck and turn, what I call the Bam Bam move, and it's really not that physical, it's just kind of a fun title. Um, the follower can do a, another surprise move, just like earlier in the tape, and she's gonna grab my left hand as we go one, two, three, four, from underneath, like this, with a Y, she's gonna catch the hand. I, at this point, have no clue what she's doing, so I typically will do my five and six in place. Five and six, she's bringing my hand over her head and forward, so I'm gonna follow the path of the hand as I do seven, eight. And we could finish it right here, and I could say, I got through that, even though I had no clue what she was doing. Or I could say, hmm, if she can do it, I can do it too. So we have, at that point, the dual bam bam move. We have the follower doing it, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and we have one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Now, in any event that we do this, it, we are never doing physical slamming of the partner, even though you might think that is happening. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. And that move right there, even though I had this hand configuration, is basically a side pass move. The footwork is side pass. From here, all I'm doing is stepping in the direction I want her to travel. This hand here, catching her hand like this is just because she grabbed me like that. So I'm gonna grab her back. I could conceivably do it one, two, three, and four, five, and six. And that's just your basic left side pass footwork. Um, the followers have another um, option off of a tuck and turn, and that is what we call, what I call inching around, just taking longer than she should. So leaders, you have to deal with it just deal with it while you sort of like stay in place and do a holding pattern, which again, there are several of those on one of my other tapes. So we have one, two, three, four. She's gonna start inching around five and six. At this point, since she's not done, I just continue to, to hold right here by doing walk, walk, seven, eight, and I say, I could do that too, and I start inching around until I get back to face her. So we could come up with a timing that goes kind of like this. One, two, three, four, five and six, and seven and eight, nine and 10, and 11 and 12. And at this point, we just start dancing again into a sugar push, and I'm really thrilled that she got all the way around and I got to do it too. So what we're gonna do is put all that stuff together for you from the two-handed wrap and unwrap. Hopefully we get through this. One, two three and four, five and six, one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen and fourteen, tucking and playing. I knew she would pick that one. One, two, three and four, five and six. See, leaders, you never know what they're gonna pick. Whether it's bam bam, inching, or anything that they come up with, be ready. Followers, make sure you keep them on their toes. Never do the same thing twice. Practice that, and we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, here we go. Section four with more fun. Let's go swing. Hopefully you're having as good a time as we are. Uh, we're gonna start with a really complicated step called the underarm turn with a hand change because we need to get into right to right for this next position. So we have one, two, three and four, five and six. Now, just like we did in the, one of the other sequences, I'm gonna move my hand in a rhythmic pattern so that she does those walking actions, getting her to be prepped at the proper time. So I have one, two, always going in toward my own hip and then out away. What I'm gonna do is circle her around, three and four, and then turn her out to the right one and a half times as she does five and six. So followers, in this particular pattern, you have one full turn to your left for the counts of three and four, and then you have one and a half turns to your right on five and six to exit. So let's just go over that so your followers get a chance to see where they're going. They have one prep two, 
one full turn, three and four. And the reason why you stop here is because you ran into this arm and this hand right here. Then make, leaders, please make sure that this hand here stays in front of her shoulder. Please try not to pull it back here, which causes my partner to have a speaking part. <laughs> okay, so from here, I'm gonna make sure that I give her a little bit of pressure here as I turn her, keeping the hand in front of her body so that she's nice and comfortable. Okay, that leaves us back into the same position that we started, which is, that's cool. We can deal with that. So we have underarm turn, three and four, five and six, prep, prep, wrap and prep. I say wrap and prep because the followers need their right shoulder forward in order to turn to the right. So leaders give as much arm as you can in this particular pattern, support the shoulder so that she's turning evenly as she does five and six. Now, if I wanted to do it again, I wouldn't do the walk, walk on the counts one, two mm -hmm. again. I would send the hand directly back so she does a rock step and I step to the other side of the rail. So we have one, two, three and four, five and again, one, two, three and four, five and six. So leaders, as a continuous action, what I would wanna do is to extend my arm so that the follower, as she's turning and finishing, stepping onto the left foot, that pressure would cause her to rock back doing one, two. So followers, at this point, you're nice and prepped for a left turn. Your left shoulder, hip, and foot are forward, and your weight has to be on your left foot. As you're turning, one and two. Hopefully, the leader allows you enough arm distance to get that right shoulder forward so that you can turn to the right, half a turn, half a turn, and half a turn to finish. If it's a continuous action, you'll feel pressure on your hand. You'll step back, one, two, and you'll do the same thing again, three, and four, one full turn, prep for the outside turn, step, 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 okay? So just going over that, this um, is kind of a, a confusing issue at first, but once you get it down, it feels really good. So leaders, to start, you have that prep, prep action on one, two. So we have one, two, three, and four, five, and drive, one, two, three, and four, five and drive, one, two, three and four, five and six, one, two, three and four. When you're ready to exit, you're just gonna catch and do a face loop and you're gonna do change of sides and get out of it by doing our favorite old tuck and turn. So as many times as you wanna do that one and two, three and four action, uh, or one, two, three and four, five and six action, Go ahead and do it. Now, leaders, remember that the speed is an issue. The, the faster the song, the, the less you wanna use something like this because she's spinning and changing directions and going out the other side. So if you try and like shove her through this real fast, she will probably hate you. 